Welcome to Yadna Investment Academy. Today we are going to talk about two terms, nominal rate of return and real rate of return. Now you must be thinking, I know rate of return, but what are these two terms? Let me elaborate. Nominal rate of return is the rate of return given by your investment, but before factoring in inflation, any applicable taxes, investment fees, etc. Let us assume you have put your money into a savings instrument like fixed deposit and your FD is giving you returns of about 8% on an annual basis. Now this return of 8% is before factoring in inflation, any applicable taxes etc. So this 8% is your nominal rate of return on your fixed deposit. Whereas real rate of return is inflation adjusted rate of return. That is nothing but nominal rate of return minus inflation. Let us take the same example to understand real rate of return where your FD is giving you a nominal rate of return of about 8% per annum. So if we assume inflation at 7%, the real rate of return would be nominal rate of return that is 8% minus inflation that is 7% would give you 1%. So your money has grown by 1% after factoring in inflation. Now the intention of telling you what these two terms mean is to make you look beyond the nominal rate of return and look at the real rate of return of your investments so that you have a better idea of how much your investment is actually growing and then you would be in a better position to decide where to put your money in. To put it into savings instrument like fixed deposit, national savings certificate, senior citizen saving scheme, PPF etc which give you returns that just match inflation or to put your money into investment instruments like mutual funds, direct equity that is stocks, etc. that give you returns over and above inflation. Let us take an example to understand why it is important to look beyond the nominal rate of return. Let us compare a tax saving FD that is a savings instrument with ELSS fund which is an investment instrument. Tax saving FDs have a lock-in period of 5 years whereas ELSS funds have a lock-in period of 3 years. So let us assume that both these investments have been done for 5 years so that they are at par. Tax saving FDs have given returns of about 8% on an annual basis in the past 5 years whereas ELSS funds have given returns of more than 15% on an annual basis in the past 5 years. So if we assume inflation at 7% the real rate of return in case of tax saving FDs would be 1% whereas in case of ELSS funds it would work out to be 8%. So your money has grown by 1% in case of fixed deposit and in case of ELSS funds your money has grown by 8%. So you see putting your money into savings instrument and that into investment instruments make a huge difference. And when you stay invested into investment kind of instruments, the power of compounding does its own magic to create wealth. In the example that we just saw, tax saving FDs as well as ELSS funds were tax saving instruments. But when you compare instruments that have some tax implication, do consider the tax implication of the investment type, your own tax bracket and the duration of investment to come up to an effective rate of return which would enable better investment choices. Friends, hope after watching the video you would look at the real rate of return of your investments. Thanks for watching the video. Watch this space for more such topics. Until then, happy investing. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below our videos. And if you like our videos, please do subscribe. Thank you.